Welcome. My name is Humair Mandavia, and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Manager at Zookin. Today I'd like to introduce to you Zookin solution for system level schematic design called Design Gateway. Design Gateway offers a true engineering platform where you can create system level multi PCB designs, use the latest methodologies in modular and design reuse, manage all your constraints in one environment, and complement that process with concurrent simulation. In Design Gateway, Let's take a look example of this uh, sample circuit. As I'm going through my schematic design, if I want to go through and access information for components, for example, I can simply select this component here, and open document, and this will give me access to a data sheet, for example. I can access information from here or from the library. Make it really easy for me to design a schematic with this information at my fingertips. Also, if I want information from a physical standpoint, I can open up the library here refer to the footprint and this will open up the view from the library the logical and physical representation of that component. I can also auto dimension here and you can see I can access study that bit of information for this given package and know which which uh, footprint I want to use as part of the design. Also if I want to manage information for all my components I can simply open up the component browser and this will give me a full circuit or sheet based view of all the attributes and rules I could set for my components. I could also do the same for nuts as well. So if I open up the ENET browser, I can manage all my rules from a logical net, extended or electrical net, or a net group, which allows me to manage all my spacing classes all early and upfront in the process. In here, for example, if I'm managing my high speed rules, I can use the various wizards involved so I can uh, easily create my constraints and rules so I can pass the layout. For example, I can manually create differential pairs or I can auto create them using a utility to define pairing rules. So I can use preset pairing rule values or I can use any one I've used in part of the design. So I'll give it a rule here and you can see how it auto detected the differential pairs that matched my pairing requirement and now I can apply it to the design and add any other constraints to my design. Also, if I want to conduct any simulation, I can go, let's say, select this address line, and I want to study the topology, so we'll say HTree, and we'll open up the Scenario Editor. The Scenario Editor gives me a scratch pad point of view of the topology involved for this given net and I can also run a simulation from here as well. Once the simulation is complete, I can study the waveform and go back into the scenario editor to conduct any other what-if study. So for example, if I wanted to add a component for series resistance and to see what the outcome would look like, I could do that early on in the process, allowing me to make sure that my signal quality and the components I'm using are defined correctly early on in the process. When I'm doing my circuit design, I also have access to other simulation tools, let's take for example SPICE. So let's go ahead and zoom into this part of my design where I have some analog circuitry. I could take this input signal to this op amp and cross probe into custom wave view. And I can see the simulation result for this given net. So you can see you have access to analog simulation also within one environment. And if I want to create a system level circuit, that's easy to do as well. I can just select new, define a system level circuit name, and we'll hit OK. This opens up a canvas for a new, new schematic. I can now take information from System Planner and use all the functional blocks and start outlining the detail design, or I can input board symbols directly from within the tool. So let's go and navigate and select the video card that may go on this design. And we'll select OK and you can see how it bring, brought in the board level symbol for that given PCB. I can also select the board symbol now for any other design that's involved with the system. So let's take for example, we'll bring in another design here. And any of the connectors or board level symbols that are involved I can select them and I can simply just drag this over here. If I want to do any kind of aligning, I can do a top justification here 
And then I can also auto-connect this information in my auto-connect utility. So it'll identify the two connectors I have selected. If I want to associate any top-level signal names, I could do that. And I'll just hit OK, and you can see where this auto-connects the two board symbols. So now I can go ahead and place each of the symbols where needed and complete my system level diagram, allowing me to access all the information from a top point of view for my full system, allowing me to create system level netlist, system level bill of materials, very easily within Design Gateway. Also, if I want to access this information uh, for each of the PCBs from the top, I can simply look in the tree view to see which PCBs are involved in the system, and whichever one I'm interested in, I could simply double click on it, and this will give me access to that schematic, and you can see where it highlights that or the connector on that design. So you can see with Design Gateway, you have the ability to easily create system level schematics, conduct simulation early on in the process, and manage your constraints all within one environment. For more information, please visit our website at zookin.com. And thank you for watching our video.